Okay, so uh, this next problem is kind of interesting because it gives you um, some sort of ability to judge scale um, and also hopefully um, afterwards you can see how cumbersome or silly it is to write all those zeros and just start using scientific notation you're going to want to. So um, just like we taught you uh, in class, so you're just going to want to move the decimal place, um, the decimal point to the behind the first non-zero digit. So in part A, uh, so that's the length of a hydrogen, hydrogen chemical bond. It's hard to read that number with all those zeros. So if we move it 11 spaces to the right and put the decimal after the 7 and then the 461 after the decimal and then you multiply that by 10 to, in this case it's going to be negative because you moved it to the right, um, 11, and you moved it 11 times, so that's where you get that number from. Um, and then remember your meters, your units. Okay, so you're going to use that same sort of uh, strategy, problem solving, problem solving strategy, uh, with the rest of them. So uh, you see here, the next one, it's the number of miles in an inch. Well, that's going to be a very small number. So move the decimal point five places. You see that? The next one is the wavelength of a red light. So wavelengths are very small. Um, these are all denoting very small numbers. That's, uh, they're all uh, less than one of their respective units. So um, that means they're pretty small. Uh, so 6.32 times 10 to the negative seventh. And um, move for D, you're moving the last one five spaces to the right. So 1.5 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. Okay, so don't forget your units. And um, if you have any questions, let me know.